Hey folks, this video is about magnetism. And the first question is, what is a magnet? Well, a magnet is any material that exhibits a force of attraction or repulsion uh, based on the alignment of atoms. So basically, it's a material whose atoms are lined up in a certain way that it's putting out a magnetic field that can attract or repel uh, other objects. There are a lot of magnets that are found naturally. Um, like neodymium, which is a very strong magnet. Um, we can also make magnets out of metals that we can find in the earth pretty easily, like iron, cobalt, and nickel. So the atoms within the material that you're working with, if they are lined up to where their north and south poles are perfectly aligned, like in the picture on the right, then all of those charges will add up and make that a pretty good magnet. However, if they're misaligned, it doesn't make a very good magnet. And if their atoms uh, don't like to stay in their same position very easily, uh, then if you dropped your magnet, we call that a, uh, the atoms could misalign. And we would call that a weaker magnet, meaning that it doesn't keep its magnetism very well. So magnetic fields, these are really important. Um, the attraction or repulsion from the magnet comes from the magnetic field. So for a bar magnet, we have these magnetic field lines that come out of the north end, and they go down into the south end. You could imagine that if you had two north ends pushing together, this magnetic field is pushing out this way. And if you had a north over here to the left, it'd be pushing this way, so they'd repel each other. They wouldn't want to come close to each other. But if you had a north over here that's shooting out, and all of that charge wants to go into the south, they would probably attract each other. You can physically see, on a macroscopic scale, uh, what the field lines of a magnet looks like if you put it near some iron filings. You just sprinkle it over the magnet, and you can see they line up perfectly with how that magnetic field is coming out of the north and into the south. It also works with uh, small compasses you could put up there. So what do magnets do? Uh, mag magnets can attract or repel other magnets. Um, Obviously, you know they attract them, and I'm sure you've played with magnets before, and you should know that they can repel other magnets. So they can exert a force on a magnet without having to touch it. They can also exert a force on magnetic metals that aren't necessarily magnets, but they could be turned into magnets. Like if you just had a piece of iron that didn't have any attraction or repulsion on its own, the magnet would stick to it. Uh, it. Magnets do not repel certain metals, or most magnetic metals, rather. Uh, they only attract magnetic metals. And all magnets have at least two distinct ends, or poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. And as we mentioned, like poles repel each other, opposite poles attract. If it helps, we usually call the North Pole a positive end or the South Pole a negative end. So um, like most things in science, two positives like to go away from each other, but a positive and a negative like to come together. The cool thing about magnets is they don't need to touch to exert a force. They could exert a force through empty space. Uh, and they can turn other magnetic metal objects into temporary magnets. Uh, they may not hold their magnetism long, but if you put um, a magnet on a paperclip or maybe a nail, you could turn that nail into a magnet for a short period of time. 